Hi, in this episode I'm going to take a quick look at the GeoPackage format in QGIS. GeoPackage is a format based on SQLite and it has several benefits over shapefiles. Here I have a project with a simple point shapefile layer. To create a new GeoPackage layer I press the New GeoPackage Layer button. In the form, I browse to a location and give the database a name. I choose to change the table name and fill in a layered description. For this layer, I select Polygon as geometry. You can add any table fields now or in the attribute table later. I edit some simple shapes and save the changes. Then I add a new GeoPackage layer. I can do this to a new database or in the same as before. This time I create a line layer. When you click OK, you select if you want to overwrite the database or add the new layer to it. Compared with Shape, the GeoPackage database is typically a single file with GPKG file extension. Here I also have a SHM file and a WAL file. These are index and write ahead logging files that make it possible to read and write to the database at the same time. As soon as a GeoPackage is opened, these two files are created and they can potentially contain edit transactions. Therefore, you should never move or copy a GeoPackage file if they exist. They will close automatically when the layers are removed from QGIS. You can save a current vector layer to an existing GeoPackage database. Just select GeoPackage, browse to the database and give the layer a new name. Here I'll just copy the shapefile style to the new layer and remove the shape layer. GeoPackage databases can contain more than just geometries. In QGIS you can also save the layer styles in the package. If you save the style as default, you can choose to save the style in the data source database. The next time you add layers from the GeoPackage, QGIS will use any default styles stored in the database. It is possible to store a number of styles in the GeoPackage, but only one can be the default for each layer. If you use DB Manager and connect to your GeoPackage database, you can look at the contents in more detail. You can even look at the layer style table if you want to. See you next time!